Hey guys and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. This is going to be a very quick video on just getting water done right in Magical Voxel. Water in Magical Voxel could be quite challenging to replicate. However, in this tutorial I will show you quick and easy tips on making water that looks similar to this. So let's go ahead and get started. After creating some terrain we're happy with, go ahead into the palette and select on any slot and choose a color for the sand. Go over to paint and select that and then down here with these arrows click on X and Y. And then go ahead and find a suitable spot where you want your sand to begin. I want to have it right here. Click and hold and drag down. And then go ahead and select the lowest part. Maybe it seems to be right here and drag up. Let's go ahead and complete that. Alright, now we have our sand layer, and then for the water layer, we're going to do exactly the same. Go ahead and select any color slot in the palette, and select the suitable water color for your ocean here. Using the same method, go click on attach, and find the lowest part of your terrain where you want your water to be. Click on it and drag up. And for realistic sake, I'm not going to go over the sand. I'm going to have it about right there so it shows some sandy coastlines. Maybe one more. Right there like that. Okay, now go ahead and go to render. And right now it's not looking very good. But we're going to fix that right now. Go ahead and go to these three bars right here. And under sample, select what I select. Select on MSGDX, MIS Cloud and TR Shadow. Nothing's happened right now, but stuff is going to happen soon. Just watch. Go ahead and hold Alt, and while holding Alt, press the left mouse button on the water. So now you have selected that color. Go over to Cloud. Uh, actually, go over to Blend. Go to Blend, and for Media, make sure you have it selected to Absorb. And let's go ahead and up the transparency a little bit. As you can see, we're getting somewhat realistic water. Right now, it looks, it's looking kind of dark, so let's maybe um, up the density of the absorption. Uh, let's see now. And then maybe change the color a little bit to a lighter color, like that. And then right now, it's looking kind of gray. It's probably because our sh world shader is producing great light. So to fix that, go ahead and go to the sun. And I'm going to select this, which is atmospheric scattering. And that's going to create a somewhat realistic world lighting for our scene. And then maybe we can adjust the exposure a little bit, up the brightness. And then for the sand, go ahead and go back to the matter tab. And we're going to go, let's see, a mixture of blend. And in this case, we're going to do scatter, because sand usually reflects off light. Maybe make it slightly metallic and somewhat transparent. And then make it very rough. And there you have it. You have realistic looking-ish water. In magical box so you can always just play with this if you like maybe up the roughness or the reflectiveness so you can get a cool looking wavy style um, and then obviously you can change the terrain color to whatever you'd like i just kept it as gray for simplicity's sake but you honestly you could change it to whatever this tutorial is mostly focused on the water and that's about that i hope this short tutorial has helped and Good luck in your future projects.